raised questions about civil rights and racial profiling. A 58-year-old black man was arrested at his own home by police looking for a suspected robber. The story grabbed national headlines because the man in question is one of the nation's most prominent African-American scholars. Our national correspondent Jim Axelrod has more. This is not how Henry Louis Gates is used to being seen in public, handcuffed and being taken away by the police. Will it lead to the mediocrats changing the subject? Mm -hmm. This is perhaps America's best-known African-American intellectual and director of Harvard's African-American Research Institute. Gates was arrested for disorderly conduct last Thursday at his home in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Gates arrived here at his home early last Thursday afternoon after a long plane flight from China. He arrived to find his front door jammed, so he and his driver tried to push their way through. A passerby in this neighborhood where there's been a rash of break-ins called the police. The sergeant who responded found Gates in his foyer. In a police report, the sergeant says Gates refused to step outside, asking why? Because I'm a black man in America? Gates showed his Harvard ID, but became angry, he says, when the sergeant refused to provide his name and badge number. The sergeant says he did, twice, but the Gates was belligerent. After repeatedly warning Gates to calm down, the sergeant says, he arrested him. You had two human beings that were reacting to a set of circumstances, um, and unfortunately at the time, cooler heads did not prevail. In an interview with the Washington Post today, Gates called his arrest outrageous, how poor black men across the country are treated every day. Gates said the sergeant should apologize. This guy had this whole narrative in his head. Black guy breaking and entering. Harvard's had its share of racial problems recently, appointing an independent commission last fall to study how the university could create a more welcoming environment for African Americans. Even though the charge was dropped, I know for me it still leaves a pretty bad taste in the mouth. The charges against Gates were dismissed today. Despite his criticism of the police, Gates and the Cambridge PD issued a joint statement calling the incident, quote, regrettable, one that shouldn't demean the reputation of either side. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Cambridge, Massachusetts.